In the last lesson, we discussed how to hold the two bows. Now let's discuss how to use the two bows. In this lesson, we'll discuss how to use the German bow. So find your good German bow grip with the thumb on top, pinky on the bottom, and these three fingers relaxed on the side, and place it close to the frog on the string. You want to make sure that you're closer to the fingerboard than you are to the bridge. Placing it close to the frog, put it on the string, and make sure that the stick is as far over the hair as you can get it, or flat hair, as some people like to refer to it. Pull the bow away from the string, and now push the frog towards the string. When pulling the bow away from the string, or the frog away from the string, it's called a down bow. When pushing the frog towards the string, it's called an up bow. It's important that we try to use the natural weight of our arm, of our bow arm, to get into the string. Rather than thinking of pressing the bow into the string, we want to think of the weight of our arm all the way from back here in your back, relaxing into the string. Using a German bow, that weight relaxes into the bow through your thumb as it's on top of the stick. So if I relax my weight into my thumb and pull the bow, I don't have to press. I'm very relaxed and I make a beautiful sound. Now let's try some rhythms with the German bow on open strings. First, let's play two notes, each with a rest afterwards. Starting on the G string. Now let's try that on the D string. Again, the A string. And now on the E string. Let's try another rhythm using the same pattern. This will be three notes and then a rest, starting on the G string. Now on the D string. Now on the A string. And finally on the E string. Notice as I change strings, my elbow moves with me across the strings, rather than trying to change from the wrist. The elbow moves down as I go to the lower strings, and the elbow moves up as I go to the higher strings. Let's try one more rhythm using the same string pattern. This will be four slightly faster notes and two longer notes. On the G string, Now on the D string. Now on the A string. And finally on the E string. This is how you use the German bow.